Hi everyone and welcome to module 7. In module 7 we'll be reading chapters 17 and 18 right here. We'll also be completing discussion board number 6 and I also have an extra credit opportunity right here. And with the extra credit opportunity when you complete your survey either take a screenshot of your survey when you're completing it or give me the receipt that you took the uh, survey and I will give you extra points. I'm trying to get as many people as possible to take the surveys. So if you submit your survey as a Word document or if you just submit your survey, uh, well, yeah, you'll probably have to do it as a Word document to take a screenshot and I will give you extra points right there. For this week, I have a couple different videos that I think you'll find very interesting. And these videos are starting, starting to look at the development of Asian countries and how right now in our economy we're facing a lot of challenges with the development. And with discussion board number six, I want to review what we're looking at. For this week, make sure to have that first post by Thursday. That's 30 points. Initial post, 10 points for AP formatting, which includes an in-text citation and reference. That needs to be correct. 20 points for content, 10 points for use of economic terms, and two peer responses, which can be any, uh, any response to any peers or any of the responses that I submit or I ask as well. That would be fine. But for this week, you're going to be, you have been working in this entire course to prepare your CEO to his journey to Asia. He's decided at the last minute to take a tour of a couple Asian economies and build a new factory in the country that will provide the greatest economic benefit. You've, you've been tasked with giving him key information before his journey. He'll want to make sure to evaluate and support your work based on the Asian economies that will provide the most economic benefit to build a factory and have those particular products shipped based to the U.S. So he's going to be shipping products to the U.S., but you're going to be making those intermediate goods in these Asian countries, which happens nowadays. There are a lot of things to think about when investing money, but make sure to focus on the freedom of the enterprise system and the benefits of investing in the country you selected. So find a country that you think is beneficial, and that with that country, you want to look at which country is going to be the easiest to ship stuff back to the U.S. that we've produced. And if you can look at those factors, it will really help you with your development. And if you have any more questions or if you want me to pre-grade your work, please let me know. But I look forward to your effort this week. 